Hey everyone, this is Fi. I'm checking out Generic Zombie Shooter Redux. Part of the AGDG Demo Day 21. Uh, we got some music playing here. I did run this very briefly before. I didn't go past the menu page here or anything. But um, I noticed the music is a little loud. I'm always noticing this with people's games, how people tend to make their volume a little a little louder than it needs to be, so I always recommend, you know, just compare it to some other games that you have on, on Steam or whatever, and just kind of get get your own stuff into a ballpark volume level. That being said, I turned it down a little bit in the capture. Hopefully it's it's pretty reasonable. Um, I have not played this before. I'm going to go ahead and read the game page here real quick. Generic Zombie Shooter Redux is a remake of the 2013 Generic Zombie Shooter, which was my first game. It's a top-down wave-based shooter. Uh, that is continuing to become less generic. All artwork assets are from the original game and will be remade towards the end of the, of the project. All feedback and suggestions for improvement are appreciated. Alright, so we're gonna bop into this. Let's get rid of that overlay. Um, it is windowed at the moment, so it's not full screen. I'll go ahead and see if there's a full screen setting here, maybe? Shadow opacity. Uh, let's try... Alt enter, that didn't do it. Hmm. All right, well, we'll probably just stick to the windowed mode then. Let's check out controls. WSD reload is R. Next wave is N. T is train. Don't know what that means. Shop is B. Pause is P. Console tilde. And your weapons. All right. So some of these are pretty hard to remember. Shop is B, pause is P. Um, hopefully the escape key will work for pause also. Go ahead and look at this real quick, just some volume settings. Alright, I think, I feel like I clicked on this a few times and I did, <laughs> so just missing it or... Oh, it reset the audio. Maybe I was clicking right above it. Or something like that, I don't know. <laughs> In any case, it's kind of weird. Um, I mean, you could make the little collision area larger, whatever, on these. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and start game here. We'll see what we can figure out. I guess we're just shooting guys. So I'm noticing the zombies blend into the background quite a bit here. Reload. I think that's our magazine right there. Now do I just stay in the middle? Apparently so. The next wave is coming here. I don't know if that was like a dog or something, but that's uh... Yeah, so far everything, there's not a lot of contrast and this thing is about to disappear on me. I guess it's a power up. Wait, let's go ahead and hit the end key, I think. Oh. Alright, so it's very precise aiming so far. Uh, at least it seems that way. The bullet's very small and the enemies are also very small. I'm not keeping track of my uh, magazine very well here, but... Alright, I only have nine bullets left. It's kind of weird. Um, do I have different... No, I don't have any other weapons, so hopefully I don't need more than nine bullets. Yeah, I'm out of bullets, so I don't, I don't know what the the idea is with that. Like, what do you do now? <laughs> Am I just supposed to die? Um, respawn. Okay, I respawn, but no more bullets, so I don't know. That's the 
pause button, and then B is... Oh. Oh, there's an item shop. Okay. Um, what's that? I was trying to see if there's no controls on the game page or anything. Or anything else listed, so I guess I was supposed to buy things in the shop here. Which is on the B key. Um, so I don't know if I have lives. I died a couple times already. It's very loud music. I'm gonna turn my own volume down a little bit. Assault rifle, shotgun, bow and arrow, flamethrower. Damage rate of fire reload. <laughs> Interesting. Claymore. I mean, that's cool and all, but so much money for, like, a single explosive, it doesn't seem very... cost-effective. Laser barrier. Alright. Stops them in their tracks. Sentry gun. Automated. Big red button. Okay. <laughs> 10,000, alright. Uh, so I guess we can buy one of these. It doesn't look like there's any ammo listed, though, so that's kind of curious to me, because we ran out of ammo. So we buy the gun. Oh, buy ammo. Okay, okay. So that's a little confusing. It wasn't immediately obvious that you could, like, click on this to buy ammo for it. Um... So yeah, let's, uh, how do we get out of this? B key again? Oh. No. Again, I, I don't know if I am meant to have lives. I guess it's the two key here. And the shoot's very fast. That guy spit a thing at me at the last moment there. It's kind of hard to avoid that. Trying to manage the ammo here. Oops. So these things do disappear relatively quickly. Uh, you, you don't move that fast. Alright. Alright, so the waves keep ending kind of before I expect them to. It's... The HUD in general, I would say, uh, like you can't really see any of this unless you really look directly at it. So you could probably do better in that in that regard to try and make it so that you can kind of more or less play while while getting some information about what's going on in the corners here uh, without having to really look directly. Um, Again, everything is very dark. I, the developer did mention that the... I guess there's something up there. That the uh, assets were going to be replaced eventually, but... Something I noticed anyways. Oh. Should have reloaded. So generally with these, these sorts of games, I kind of like it when... Uh, things are a little bit larger in terms of both the bullets you shoot and the enemies because um, it's less about, you know, pointing your cursor exactly on like a certain few pixels and more about kind of other, other aspects of the game which might be like, you know, reflexes and movement to avoid attacks and that sort of thing. So, okay, so I picked up, I guess I'm getting pistol ammo. Okay, I guess some like night vision sort of thing going on. Uh, so something I think that could work well is if instead of um, 
maybe you could work the shop into something that kind of is more automatic, like between waves or something. Like you have, you could have a wave and then maybe like the shop kind of pops up or something and just has a giant button that says next wave and that sort of thing so you can kind of keep track of, you know, you're getting money and, and what you can buy and all that stuff so you don't, it's, this kind of feels so separated. Um, from the action as it is, I have to kind of think about the fact that I <laughs> eventually have to stop and, and manually enter the shop and, and spend some money to get ammo and all that stuff, so. Um, you know, I think you could work with the, the transitions there between the waves. The waves do seem pretty short, so I feel like maybe they should be longer. I, I assume maybe they might get longer over time or something, but... Uh, let's see here. So buy some ammo for this guy. Might as well try the different weapons out here, so... Just buy whatever. <laughs> It's gonna be one, two, three, four. Hit the B key. I think I'm gonna try. Four is the shotgun, so let's do that. I don't know if there's a way to reorder that. Let's hit the B. Can I move these? I don't think I can move these, so that might be a nice thing, is if you could reorder these for the sake of your um, the buttons you're pressing to equip them. Why is that so weak? <laughs> Holy crap, there's like a lot all of a sudden. Alright, the, the shotgun seems really bad. Oh my gosh, it's weak. Like really weak. That's weird. I like shotguns in, in games, but this one doesn't work very well. And, uh, yeah, the guy that spews stuff at you, that sort of thing's kind of unfortunate with the shotgun because there's no way to, like, get close to him because he he's kind of constantly spewing directly at you. So if you try and get in close with the shotgun, it just doesn't work at all. It's not like you can avoid the shot and then get close in or that kind of thing. It doesn't really quite seem possible, at least as far as I can tell. Um, the damage, oh my gosh, it's so abysmal. The rate of fire and everything, it just seems useless. Um, yeah. Like, I couldn't even kill the, the dogs that only take one pistol shot. That was unfortunate. <laughs> Let's try out the bow and arrow. Let's see what that does. Um, got plenty of money, I think. But yeah, there was like all of a sudden quite a few more enemies there when I tried the shotgun out, so that was kind of funny, but. Uh, I guess we'll just go ahead and do this. Now, do I just click or do I have to like click and hold with this? Just click and hold. Okay. Oh, but it's. Yeah, this doesn't work well against a lot of enemies, clearly. Um. It's better against individual targets, so that's kind of. I don't know if the waves are all going to be like this from now on. If you're going to have more waves that have less less enemies that are stronger, that sort of thing, because that's kind of what I think tends to work with having weapons like this with slow rate of fire. Because if there's always going to be a lot of enemies, you're going to always need um, pretty much always need a high rate of fire weapon like this. Go ahead and see this seems like it's gonna be weaker than this anyways. Unless it has some other properties like damage over the time setting enemies on fire or something, I don't know. Grenade launcher sounds fun. 
So this is 3,000. Let's go ahead and buy it for the sake of trying it out. Uh, yeah. oh, okay, I died. I guess. <laughs> Kind of weird how there was main menu and give up like i don't know if give up just quit the game or what uh so i guess this means i'm just starting over from the beginning just a little unfortunate in the sense that i have to kind of go through all the <laughs> all the low level waves again uh <clears throat> which isn't a lot of fun consider for this sort of game. For the progression, uh, if you get past a certain point, maybe you could like start at a harder difficulty. Maybe with some kind of a money bonus or something. Um, so that players who... Uh, oops. No, I'm out of ammo again. That's really annoying. Uh, players who... get further in the game like and they want to you know play another round don't have to go through like the beginning every time that sort of thing or it's like easy be nice if there was oh didn't move for a second there i don't know if i hit the wrong key or something uh <clears throat> be nice if there was some kind of a ui button here you could just click on or something instead of having to hit the b key a little weird and hold on a second Maybe... Okay, okay, I think I know what's going on here. Right, so if you go into this menu and you press the B key and it kind of does this fade out transition, um, if you try to press WASD during the transition here, it doesn't register. You have to wait until after the transition is finished. So... You might consider that a bit of a bug. getting ammo for this one or so it's kind of unclear when I pick up what looks like ammo boxes and it seems like I don't really have much ammo the pistol does seem strong uh, compared to the the, uh, the uh, automatic weapon there I think it's slightly stronger so you can shoot the bigger zombies in two shots instead of three and it still shoots quickly so it's just it's more you know, more clicking and all that, but it's a slightly easier to conserve ammo, so it's seems like not a bad choice so far. There's no deviation in the accuracy. It shoots like perfectly straight. Next, oh, we only have 12. Can I? Okay, you can shop right in the middle of the wave too, so that's a little unusual. But helps if you manage to completely run out. Oh my gosh, what? Oops. Alright, uh, hit points. What is the green, even? <laughs> oh. I don't know what the green is. Is that a power-up that was right there? Again, when you're transitioning and then you try and move and you can't because it's not fully transitioned yet, that's a little problematic. Uh, let's go ahead and 
How much money do we have? 4,000. I think we're going to try and get the grenade launcher eventually. Uh, let's do this because we didn't really give it a proper try before. Looks like ammo is super expensive for this though. Max ammo. Does that mean to fill it up or... Is that like an upgrade? I don't know. This is pretty bad range. Ugh. Yeah, like it's <laughs> it's also about the same range as these guys spitting at you almost, so it's kind of unfortunate. And I ran out of ammo already, so that seems very not worth it to me. I guess I can technically sell it, so let's go ahead and do that. Don't get much for it. I guess it's a little over half, but not counting the ammo or something, I don't know. Uh, big red button. Looks like we have enough. If we're gonna try and buy this next so we can Try it out Oops, not doing a good job conserving ammo not a lot of feedback uh, when you take damage. It could probably be improved. You know, have some red flashing on the screen or something. Not, so, not anything obnoxious, of course, but just, you know, make it really obvious that you are getting hit. I'm losing health. How much do I have? Looks like I can buy this anyways. I don't know that it'll be worth it. Looks like we only get eight ammo. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking it's gonna have to have a pretty big, pretty big explosion to make this worthwhile for me here. Hit N. Oh, it says way 14, but uh oh, nothing's coming. Are they too scared of my grenade launcher? I think it might have gotten bugged out. Well, that's no fun. All right, well, I guess we screwed it up. <laughs> it's too bad. Let's go ahead and shoot this thing. All right, can't really see the grenades. They're almost invisible in the background. And they also... Looks like they always blow up at a certain distance. It's kind of uninteresting, in my opinion, the motion of the grenades. Like, usually with grenade launches in games, you kind of expect it to kind of come out fast and, like, bounce across the ground a couple times and and then, like, come to a rest for a moment and then explode. So maybe you could simulate that kind of thing where it comes out quicker and then just kind of lose the speed and then, you know, explode. Uh, but yeah, the explosion looks pretty, that looks pretty darn small to me. Um, Fairly low rate of fire, but mostly just that you get so few shots that, you know, maybe it's really strong or something against, like, bigger enemies, but, uh, I think it'd work better if the explosion was bigger because you're gonna want to be able to take out a lot of enemies because you have so few grenades to work with. Let's go ahead and, alright, escape key works here. I'm gonna give this one more shot. Start with no money. I think we're gonna try and get sentry guns. 
Uh, well, I guess for the sake of feedback, we should go ahead and try whatever else is here. I don't know what the ding means. Is it supposed to be like... I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so this, actually, I don't know. We have three hearts also in the green bar up here. I still have no idea what these even are. Ah! Alright, so it's a little particular. I have to really run over stuff here. You could make the little, the, the pickup area for the power-ups a little bigger. Oh, that's what that was up there. It's just showing me that I have it. <laughs> So it's not like pixel perfect collision. So that's good. Okay. Good and get some more ammo here. Is this like discounted at all or is that just normal? I don't know. Probably just to make things faster for you. Uh, N? couple of getting hurt sounds. I don't know what that was from. I don't know if I got like poisoned by zombie vomit or something like that. It's causing damage over time. It's a little confusing. So we got some money. I think we're gonna try the claymore here. Which I don't expect to like, but go ahead and try it anyways. It looks like we get four of them. So that's interesting. Uh, we're gonna have to get ammo, huh? That's enough. Can we still afford you? Yeah. Gonna buy a little more. Uh, laser barrier. Interesting. It says it stops them in their tracks. So let's see how that works. Let's go ahead and drop a claymore here. And one here. So I don't know what else to do with it. Alright, so I think they probably killed like one zombie each. That's kind of unfortunate. Um, I think it's going to be pretty hard to set those up in a way that's actually going to give you back the bang for the box. It only takes one enemy to trigger it, and then uh, the situation where it's going to kill a lot of enemies just might not be very likely because they'd all have to be really stacked on top of each other when it's triggered. Yeah. thing. I need more of this. Let's do that. Laser thing is what? Three? Oops, wrong key there. The end key. Ooh, let's hit. Oh. Alright, not, not a lot of time to think about what was happening here. Um, I don't know. I guess they kind of... I don't know. Oh, I took a lot of damage. 
I took a lot of damage. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what this is doing here. I don't know. But can I even... You can't buy any med kits or anything, it looks like. So that might be something worth doing. Obviously, you don't want to, like, break the game by surviving forever with med kits, but... You need health, you need health. Alright, well, that's still 4,000. Let's go ahead and check one of these. Oh. Crap. <laughs> um, so I'm not. Oh. Slower. <clears throat> so I'm kind of wondering about a couple of things. Let's go ahead and pause that. Um, when is the hit box on the exploding guys? Uh, I'd kind of like to see that. It, the effect of it is kind of small, but it looks like it. It's it's hard to see in all the mayhem, but it looks like it might kind of hit you from further than you expect. Um, not sure if that's true, but it kind of gave me that impression. And the other thing is that, uh, I don't really care for the idea of enemies that just kind of walk at you and then hurt you on contact. Like the dogs and dogs and such. Um, I kind of think it might make sense if they had some kind of an attack that they did so that they kind of ran at you and then there was like a little pause and then they like did their attack. That sort of thing uh, it gives you something that you can kind of react to rather than, you know, just barely brushing up against something and then taking damage because that just doesn't feel as good. Uh, <clears throat> so that's a suggestion. Uh, I don't remember if there's anything else I was going to say about that. Um, what are we doing here? I still don't really know what the laser barrier was meant to do. It, it's nice, I guess, that it's persistent here. going on with that. Oh, what? Okay, so apparently I'm supposed to use more than one. Okay, well, that's something to keep in mind. Do they just stay stuck on it, or do they just not path through it? Do they go around it, or... This appears to be some kind of a... Oh! Killed it. Alright, so this guy is gonna be a freaking ammo sponge, so you gotta make sure you don't run out of ammo. Just go ahead and do that. Oh! Yeah, see that transition where you can't move? You have to wait until the uh, transition finishes before you press the move buttons or you stay stuck. And that's not good when you're in the middle of a wave. Oh, this guy takes a lot of bullets. Holy moly. My gosh. I mean, it's not just that it takes a long time, but it's actually kind of expensive to, to fight the boss. Uh, if you don't have the ammo for it, and you used up all your money, then you're screwed. Like, say, if you just stocked up on stuff right before the boss wave, and then you ended up not quite having enough ammo or something, then you'd be... there'd be nothing you could do about it. There's no way to get any more money or anything. Okay, this is the big red button where we're gonna get some of these. I need more ammo though, so... This is only 4,000. Just stick with the pistol for now. Let's get one of these. It's only one, but... Hopefully it will last a while. Which button is it here? Just 
chocolate there. Looks like he's got a little laser that's going over here. Oh, next wave. Let's do that. Um, I'm not sure. Oh! Alright, that guy's really loud though, that, that turret. Oh my gosh. One thing I'm curious about is if these power-ups um, that wear out over time, if they wear out while you're waiting for the next wave, or if they wait until the wave is current. So it'd be kind of lame if you were to uh, use up your power-up while there's no wave active. Oh, what the heck is that? Oh, that's a waste of freaking money, shooting all those little guys. Some expensive bullets. Oh, maybe this is lives up here. <laughs> I still don't know what the green is. So this is interesting. It's very loud and kind of distracting, but obviously it's helpful to have a little boost of uh, extra damage there. And the big red button! Well, let's go for that. Uh... This might be the better gun for the, these later stages, of course, because it has that higher rate of fire. Ah! No, that's not cool. That guy wastes too much ammo. <laughs> And he just explodes into like 13 enemies. Holy cow, there's so much ammo it takes to kill that. Um, if you had some kind of a melee attack in the game, that would kind of acidate some of these issues a little bit, I think. It's kind of hard to make something like that that works well, especially with enemies so small and everything. But um, there's some button you could spam to just kind of smack those tiny guys or. <laughs> In the uh, unfortunate event, if you completely ran out of ammo and couldn't buy any more, you could maybe... Oh, come on. Yeah, this is complete. I'm gonna get completely screwed over by that. Whoa! I clicked off the screen. Alright, so that's not, <laughs> that's a little bit of a problem also. <laughs> okay. Uh, I clicked off the window, went back to a different window there, and died. So um, I definitely appreciate a full screen mode. Uh, for that, those little corner situations there. Uh, I think we're gonna... We didn't get to see the red button, the big red button, so that's kind of what I wanted to do. Um, it's gonna make the video longer than it needs to be, I think, if we try to pursue that. So I'm just gonna probably wrap this up now. Uh, we tried out most of the things. I gave some feedback that was hopefully useful. Uh, I mentioned before I, I do like things that are work with kind of bigger bullets and bigger enemies, um, not for the sake of of uh, the visuals or anything like that, um, but just the gameplay. It's less about being really pixel perfect with the mouse and you can kind of focus more on other fun stuff like, you know, dodging attacks and that sort of thing. But uh, that's my opinion. Uh, I guess, it, you know, you do have to kind of put more <laughs> energy into designing interesting enemies or that sort of thing also but um yeah as it is i mean it is a generic zombie shooter as it's what it says on the tin so there you have it uh mostly works okay obviously the, the balance and the weapons seems all kind of off <laughs> but uh yeah hopefully there's some good feedback in there for you um definitely let me know if you have any questions for me or anything and um We'll definitely see you guys in the next video.